from Forbes, is X throttling Kamala Harris's account? Key Democrat claims time sensitive censorship issue. You have to be kidding me. You can't make this stuff up. We are quite literally living in the upside down, backwards, bizarro world. He's reliable. He's considerate. He's like your exact opposite. So he's Bizarro Jerry. <laughs> bizarro Jerry? Yeah, like Bizarro Superman. Superman's exact opposite. Who lives in the backwards, bizarro world? Up is down, down is up. He says hello when he leaves, goodbye when he arrives. Shouldn't he say bad bye? Isn't that the opposite of goodbye? No, it's still goodbye. Does he live underwater? No. Is he black? For years now, the conservative contingent, the conservative influencers, which aren't even really conservative at this particular point in time, it's literally just common sense. And I've had videos removed from YouTube in the past. I've had memes, jokes removed from Instagram that were completely insensitive. And for the record, I was reading a New York Times article on YouTube, which they decided was medical information. I guess it's because I interjected some of my own opinions about the New York Times article, but that's a completely different story. The point here is they're literally using the argument that conservatives or common sense people have been using for years to say that you guys are stomping on Kamala Harris's social media. Give me a break. My name is Eric. This channel is called Report and Opine. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'm absolutely begging you. I'm begging you, please. Come on, please. It would help me a lot and cost you nothing, but if you want to help me even more and spend some money, you would buy my book, New York City 2020, Gotham Unglued on Amazon.com. That link will be in the description. But they say, Jerry Nadler from New York called on, House, on the House Judiciary Committee to investigate Elon Musk X on Tuesday, one day after users on the platform said they were unable to follow Vice President Kamala Harris. Yeah, yeah. Elon Musk probably did that, right? From the top down, he said, no, we're not going to allow anybody to follow Kamala Harris. This is probably just fake. It, not, not many people like her, so they don't want to tune into what the hell she has to say. Now, I follow her on Instagram because you got to keep your enemies closer. You know what I'm saying? Um, Nadler called a serious and time-sensitive censorship issue as Harris is at the start of her presidential campaign after Bo Jiden withdrew. Here are the key facts. Nadler urged the Republican-controlled committee to request information from X, formerly known as Twitter, regarding the apparent censorship. You can't, you can't be serious. Arguing Americans and Harris have protected interest and right to engage with each other on social media as the vice president makes her... Okay. Specifically, Nadler is seeking an explanation for why certain users were prevented from following the campaign account. Okay, fine. Right. Remember, we were told several times over dozens of times, in fact, that, oh, you know, the mistakes are happening, but they constantly flow in one direction. And now maybe this, which I'm sure is already fixed. If you try to go to Twitter right now and follow Kamala Harris, I'm almost certain you will be able to make that happen. And do you really want to open this can of worms? Right. And pretend that the weirdo censorship from the left just never happened. It, I mean, bro, the New York Post, one of the oldest publications in the country was censored when they broke the hunt the hunter biden laptop story right do you really want to open that can of worms i guess they do that's how desperate they've become multiple ex-users on monday posted that they were stopped from following harris's campaign page and received message saying they could not do so because a follow limit was reached okay whatever x limits the speed at which users can follow other accounts you know what i'm just thinking now it was probably like a weird bot. They probably paid for a whole bunch of followers and it was just too many at one time. And I know Elon, or I think, you know, I don't know Elon personally, maybe I'll hit him up, but uh, they don't really like the bots. So if somebody in the Biden, I mean the Harris HQ account wanted to up the follower account and pay, uh, you know, a couple hundred bucks or a thousand bucks to get some followers and it just started happening too fast and they're like, no, we think these are fake. That's probably what happened in my, you know, empirical IT brain. X did not immediately respond uh, to Forbes' request for comment. Yeah, I bet they didn't. Oh, here's a tangent. X has policies and anti-bot measures. Okay, that's literally what I just said. We estimate must net worth. Okay, yeah, this this doesn't make. This has nothing to do with Kamala Harris. 
Harris campaign for president began. So, yeah, yeah, we know all about that. So the there's really not much of a story here except for these people are now claiming the exact same thing that people on the other side of the, po the political aisle claimed four years ago.